Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you 10 DIY school supplies inspired by makeup. If you enjoy this video, please click that like button and comment down below your favorite makeup. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more fun DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. The first DIY will be a Great Lash Mascara Glue. For this one, I'm going to use this mascara container. And the first thing that you will want to do is remove the plastic piece from the top. Once the plastic piece has been removed, just thoroughly wash and clean out the inside of the container. I ran some warm soapy water through it along with some peroxide until it was clean. You will also want to do the same thing with the wand. Choose whichever kind of glue that you want to fill the container with. Start filling the container with the glue. Once you have enough glue in it, put the wand back in, and that is how you make this Great Lash Mascara glue. second idea will be a DIY lip gloss highlighter. For this one, I am going to use one of these lip glosses. To start getting some of the lip gloss out of the tube that was left in there, I squirted in some hot water and I shook it around and put it into another cup and I just did that several times. Next, with an X-Acto knife, I cut a slit down the back of the tube. Cut off the top part of the tube. I'm going to be using one of these mini highlighters. And what you want to do is you just want to put it inside of the lip gloss tube and the point of the highlighter sticking out the top. Next, I just use some hot glue to glue the highlighter to the tube and close the opening that I made. Here is mine once it was all glued back together and the highlighter was in place. And that is how you make these easy DIY highlighter lip glosses. The third idea will be a DIY makeup brush highlighter. For this one, I'm going to use one of these makeup brushes from this little mini makeup brush pack first thing that I did was I cut off a little piece from the bottom. Whatever makeup brush that you use, make sure that it's hollow inside. The piece was cut off the bottom. I used a piece of sandpaper to sand down the rough edges. I'm going to be using one of these highlighters right here and begin by taking off the bottom and removing the ink from the inside. Place the highlighter next to the makeup brush and determine where it needs to be cut off to fit inside the makeup brush. Once I determined where I wanted my highlighter cut, I just cut on the marking. Place the ink back in the highlighter, mark off where it needs to be cut, and remember that the cap does take up a little space, so place that next to the ink, make another marking, and then cut off the excess. Next, I just put the highlighter back together. Place some glue on the bottom of the highlighter and place it in the makeup brush.
and that is how you make these DIY makeup brush highlighters. The fourth project will be a NYX lip gloss eraser. I'm going to be using one of these NYX lip glosses. Start by removing the plastic piece from the top. You'll want to wash and clean the plastic piece and cut off just a little bit on the bottom and you will also want to wash and clean out the lip gloss tube as well. Once it's cut, this is what you should have. For the top, you will want to go as far down as you can to remove the wand. You can't remove the whole thing or the threads will come out and the bottle won't close. Once you have that part out, then you'll want to take an X-Acto knife and cut the rest of it off. Once it's removed, it should look something like this. Place the plastic piece that was cut back into the tube. I'm going to be using one of these erasers from these click erasers. And once you have it out, just slide it into the lip gloss tube. Place the cap back on, and there is how you make these easy DIY NYX lip gloss erasers. Next two ideas will be BB Fresh Whiteout and Eraser. For both of these, you will need a BB Fresh makeup container like this. Start by cutting the tip off of the container. Once it has been cut off, thoroughly wash and clean out the container. I'm going to be using this white out right here and what you want to do is you just want to slowly start pouring it into the BB Fresh container until all of the white out is empty from the bottle. Now you can use the wand from the whiteout container and to do that just snip it off. Or if you want to use a little bit longer one, use a lip gloss wand. Whichever wand you decide to use, just apply some glue to the bottom of it and secure it into the cap. And now you can use your BB Fresh whiteout. Fresh eraser. Again, you will need a BB Fresh makeup container and just do the same thing by cutting off the top and thoroughly washing and cleaning out the container. For this one, I will also be using one of these click erasers. If the eraser doesn't fit through the hole, then just use a hot glue gun to make the hole just a little bit bigger. drew a line down the center and cut on that line. Place the eraser next to the container, mark off where it needs to be cut, remove the eraser, and slide the click part all the way up and then cut on the marquee. Once it's cut, here is what you should have. Put the eraser back in and cut it down to size.
put the eraser in the container, slide the eraser up so it comes out the top, and then bring the sides of the container under the clip. And now you can slide the eraser up and down, put the cap back on, and that is how you make these BB Fresh erasers. The seventh and eighth idea will be fake eyelash notepad and glue pen. For this one, I will be using these fake eyelashes and glue. The first thing that I did was I emptied out the glue and then I washed and cleaned out the container just like I did in the lip gloss one earlier. Next, I just cut off the top of the glue tube. Make the hole just a little bit bigger so ink would fit in there, I used a screwdriver. I'm going to use the ink from one of these pens. Mark off on the ink where it needs to be cut down to size. Place the ink into the glue tube. To make the notebook, I'm going to start by tracing around the tray the eyelashes came in onto a piece of cardstock. Once it was traced out, I cut it out and I did that a second time so I had two. Now choose which paper you would like to make your notebook. Take one of the pieces of cardstock, trace around that, and cut out several sheets for the notebook. Gather all your sheets for the notebook, place one of the pieces of cardstock on the back, one on the front, and clip together. Glue along one of the long sides to bind the notebook together. Here is mine once the glue had dried. Carefully take the eyelashes off and place them on the top of the notebook. Once the eyelashes are on the notebook how you would like them, take some super glue and glue them to the notebook. To hold the pen in place, I'm going to use one of these Velcro dots and cut it down to size. Place the piece of Velcro on the notebook and then put the glue pen on top of it. And that's all there is to the glue pen and eyelash notepad. The ninth idea will be a mini hairspray highlighter. For this one, you will need a travel size hairspray. The 
first thing that I did was I started taking the cap apart. I will be using one of these highlighters. Just start by taking the bottom off and removing the ink from inside. Mark off on the highlighter so it will fit in the bottle and cut off the excess. Place the cap beside the ink, mark off where it needs to be cut off, and then cut off the excess. Now just put the highlighter back together. Place some glue on the bottom of the highlighter and glue to the inside of the hairspray bottle. Now there was this little blue piece that was inside the cap. And I just put that on top and that helps to keep the highlighter in place and then I place the cap back on along with the top and that's how you make a hairspray bottle highlighter the last idea will be a hairbrush notepad to go with your hairspray highlighter I'm going to use one of these little mini hairbrushes. Choose a piece of foam that closely matches the hairbrush color. On the piece of foam, trace around the top of the hairbrush. Once it's traced out, then just cut it out. And it should fit on the hairbrush like this. Choose the kind of paper to make your notebook trace around the piece of foam and cut out several sheets. When all the pieces for the notebook are cut out, clip those together and glue along one of the sides to bind it together. Here is mine once it was dry. Take the foam piece and attach it to the top of the notebook Mine had a sticky back, so I just removed that. If yours doesn't, just glue it to the top. Now place some glue on the back of the notebook and glue to the hairbrush. And that's all there is to this easy and a bit weird DIY hairbrush notebook. I hope you guys enjoyed all 10 of these DIY school supply ideas. Leave me a comment, let me know which one was your favorite. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.